You got a really special flight jacket here. Born in 1921, Diz Laird got in on the action early as a fighter pilot. When did you join the military? Uh, a week or so after Pearl Harbor. You signed up. I drove down to the ferry building in San Francisco and signed up. Well, I happened to become an ace because I, I shot down enough airplanes to qualify. Out of more than 1,400 aces, Diz says he's one of only 31 left. He shot down both German and Japanese aircraft. How old are you? I s celebrated the 58th anniversary of my 39th birthday. So you're working on, on uh, 98 now. <laughs> and he has stories to tell. I know the first Japanese airplane I shot down gave a short burst, and I saw my tracers go across right in front of him. I just dropped the sight back a little bit and, and squeezed it again, and he just burst into flames. We passed each other like this. Only he was just a big ball of fire. The air-to-air -air gunnery was like a like a sport to me. I, I had 2010 vision, and I could spot airplanes way sooner than anybody else could. Your memory's so sharp, so accurate about the details, like you can relive every moment. Some of those things kind of hard to forget. <laughs> Commander Diz Laird went on to fly in the Korean War in Vietnam. In 1969, Hollywood came calling. He was asked to fly fighter planes in the movie Tora Tora Tora. In 1995, he revisited Japan. I met this one, one Japanese pilot, and he told me he was a kamikaze pilot. And I said, hmm. You look amazingly well for a kamikaze pilot. <laughs> He's worn the bolo tie that that Japanese pilot gave him ever since. Highly decorated with a slew of medals and honors, Diz is headed to Washington, D.C., where on Saturday this week, he'll get the Audi Murphy Award, and he salutes those serving this country today. I'm sure they're deserving every medal they got. <laughs>